a coach from Nichols College in Dudley, Mass, actually witnessed the tragedy. He was inside the high school in Florida on a recruiting trip. A short time ago, he returned to New England and told his story to our Julie McDonald. She's live for us tonight in Providence. Julie? Well, David, he's left the airport. He's driving home to Auburn right now. He says he cannot wait to hug his wife and to see his little girl before school tomorrow. He knows many in Florida are not as lucky. It was their last school visit of the day. Assistant Dean for Nichols College, Paul Brower, was wrapping up with prospective athletes at Stoneman Douglas High in Florida. There's some radio chatter about a firecracker, and somebody said that isn't a firecracker, and moments later there was a, uh, a code red, code red. Locked in an athletic office, they were safe, but the athletes started to receive texts from classmates who found themselves in grave danger. I think one of the, the hardest moments was they, they learned that their coach, Coach Fights, uh, had been shot, so, you know, at that point, it's a head football coach and four football players learning about someone who's very important in their life. They opened the door only once and heard gunfire. We watched a young man come right across the window we were standing near uh, and kind of jog into the middle of the field and start heading to evacuate with other students. About two or three minutes after that happened, we learned that that was the shooter. Now home safe, as Brower returns to his own school, he won't forget the tremendous professionalism he witnessed from teachers and coaches. I haven't seen it firsthand and from the inside. I, I, I believe that school really did a lot of things right in this. It's just uh, unfortunately this young man kind of knew where he was going and knew it from the inside. So Brower had made this the same exact school visit in years past. He knew Coach Feist, who was killed shielding students from the gunman. This year, though, Brower was traveling with a brand new Nichols football coach. This was his first ever school visit. Live in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.